perfume business, specifically making money on the smell of money, low of dough, just how much the smell of money costs. Mike Hager just knows, and he'll tell us. Stay tuned. The market, CNBC's Phil Lobo joins us with a look at the beef futures and what it could mean for companies like McDonald's and Wendy's, but up next, outside the box and inside the smell of money, Mike Hager, this is in the cheap seats once again in the balcony. Hey, good morning, Mark. Hold off on the aftershave. Outside the box this morning, we do go inside money if you can invest it or save it. At least you can smell like you do. So stay tuned. As Squawk Box says, it is a fiscally responsible phrase. Outside the box this morning, we go inside everyone's favorite holiday gift, money. But this is money, in quotes. Mike Hegedus joins us now with the sweet smell of greenbacks. Mike. Right. Although I did like low to dough. That was a low very... Low to dough, uh, yes. Low to dough was a very nice one. Huh? You give money, don't you, Vince? Put it in those little cards and stuff. You give money to him. To him. <laughs> <laughs> now we know everything. Oh, Lord, what about one and out? He's kidding. Hello, he's kidding. He's kidding. Mark, you can put it in a card or you can give it to yourself on the tree or in your wallet. Money, that versatile holiday gift giving idea that now comes in liquid form. Money you can spritz on. Richard. Pat McCarthy is a salesman, in fact, the senior VP of sales for a California tech company. He's got an office in Chicago and spends his time telling people things like this. We have an application that allows those companies to take their process and automate it so that the manufacturing component will be streamlined and made 100 percent accurate. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. But, but now McCarthy has momentarily left the tech life behind and branched into the world of high fashion well sort of pat mccarthy is the creator of a designer fragrance a fragrance based on the smell of money real money first hit by the idea a few years back when he got fresh bills out of an atm mccarthy went to a group of fragrance chemists and asked them to capture that scent sweeten it just a little and Bingo, baby. Money was born. The cologne version, anyway. It's a catch name, and it does have a very good fragrance, and it's very reasonably priced. Mary Hatcher is the buyer for Washington Clothiers of Detroit. Hers one of the hundreds of stores around the country with money on its shelves. In its second run of 10,000 bottles, its success has taken McCarthy a bit by surprise, mostly because he didn't do it to get into the multi-billion dollar fragrance business. He did it as a sales tool, an example, sort of like like Tom Peters and Harvey McKay. Being in sales and motivating my sales teams, at the end of the day, a lot of it does come down to the money. So far, it's working on both levels, selling in the stores and selling to businesses as an idea. Oracle, Siebel, uh, Salesforce.com, who are interested in using this in their sales meetings as motivation for their sales force. As an added incentive, if you will, each bottle of money comes packed in, yes, money, shredded U.S. currency, which McCarthy bought from old Uncle Sam. So I bought about 800 pounds. <laughs> How much does 800 pounds of shredded currency well, cost? Well, it looks uh, it's similar to a bale of hay. So it's about uh, that weight and size, and I've got about eight of those in my basement at home. Money, 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 money. It's what makes the world go round. That and... But money, money is a success, is it not? Okay. <laughs> That's what everybody wants. I notice you've got it right next to sex. Is there a reason for sex that? Sex and money. That's the key. Exactly. Do you give up your day job? No. <laughs> we haven't sold that much money. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, the smell of sex. Hmm. So how much money does money cost? It's in the $20 range, which is considered the sweet spot for men's fragrances. Whoa. And you've got some there. How did you do? It's a little strong. Well, you're just supposed to put a little. Yeah, that's just, yeah, I yeah. may have used a little bit and too here's, much. And this is the packing. There it is. Shredded U.S. currency. So, you know, what you could do is give this to your kids or somebody, and they could spend all Christmas Eve trying to... It doesn't smell like money. Trying to... Uh, well, they sweetened it a bit. What does money smell like? Well, I don't know. I, it's one of those smells <laughs> that I know it when I smell yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah, we, yeah, that's right. If we could only smell it, we would know yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so, I yeah. know it when I see it. If you could smell yeah. it out, no, you could invest it. Wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. Yeah, okay. so. there, wait a minute. By God, it does, it does smell, smell like, like money. <laughs> that's right. 
See, it's just a little sweeter. It does smell now, do like the wine. Let me, give me this. Let me smell this. Do the sure 20s correct. smell yeah, different yeah. than yeah. the hundreds? That's well, what I, I want to know. That smells yeah, just like that, money. That's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> but that does it smell does. like money. Huh? A little, it, it smells like sweeter money. Boy, okay, boy is, is, is McCarthy glad to hear you guys say that? I want to tell you. Since, and by the way, you're not doing anything else tomorrow? At 7 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m., there's a special outside the box holiday special. So, in between uh, smelling your money, watch that, will you? Happy holidays.